for exclusive content that Shikama offers, join us over at Patreon as supporter of the Shikama Live Show. That's video content you won't see on YouTube that can help you grow and maintain your wealth, financial education wrapped up in plain English, and video series of interesting and thought-provoking topics. Join us at bit.ly slash patron check. It's the first link in the information box. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shikamo. You don't have to be an investor. You don't have to be a genius to understand why Theranos is coming under attack when I make this statement. Theranos is offering a $10,000 test for $2.99. Okay, you do the math. And let me ask you, do you understand why that company is coming under attack? You don't have to be old. You don't even have to know anything about biomedical companies. The company is estimated to be uh, est uh, around $8 billion, $9 billion. I think the company is probably should be worth far more than that. That was a, a $9 billion estimate at the last round of funding. Now, let me be honest with you. When I saw that the CEO and the founder of the company was a woman and she said that she had the patents to all of the technology involved in her company and they had her name on it, I will admit the first thing that came to my head was she's lying. And that is the exact attack that a lot of people are doing. Why? Because that's easy to, to say, right? Because for the most part, women do not have patents for very technical and complicated things. That's just a fact. I'm not saying any, every woman falls into that category, but a lot do, right? She says she has the patents. Okay. I have nothing to disprove that she invented the technology for her company. But I don't think you need to go any further than offering a test that's worth $10,000 for $2.99. Now, all of her partners, Walgreens, Draper, Fisher, 23andMe, Palantir, LabCorp, have all said that they are sticking, standing by Theranos. They don't care what anybody else says. Now, the allegation that there is something untoward about the company is brought by the Wall Street Journal, respected periodical. But she said that the people that they ran the store, the piece with were people that did not believe that she owned the patents, that it was her inventions. And that's who they spoke with. And the company sent over 10,000 pages of documentation proving the technology, proving everything that was going on with the company to the Wall Street Journal. And the Wall Street Journal still ran with the Peace questioning the company. Now the CDC, FDA, I believe, is trying to ban the company, ban the founder, ban some other officers of the company. This seems like a witch hunt. And I go back to why is this happening? $10,000 for $2.99. I want you to sit back and think for a second of all of the things that are worth $10,000 right now that you would buy for $2.99. And I want you to sit back and think what the entire economic makeup would look like right now if that were the case. How many people would have jobs? I think a lot of people would have jobs because people would be cramming into stores to buy stuff that was once worth $10,000 but now worth $2.99. They probably could not keep the people out of the stores and they would have to hire so many people to ring up the cash register. Now, understand that I'm talking about the in-store. I'm not talking about the manufacturer. I'm talking about the in-store retail stores retail store 
doesn't pay $10,000 for the merchandise. The retail store gets the merchandise, sells it, and then gives the money, whatever money they owe to the manufacturer or whomever, right? The retail store is almost like the middleman in a sort of consignment type of deal. People would be clamoring. Imagine cars, houses, hmm? Think of all the things that could be worth $10,000. Or, as I'm thinking, $30,000, dollars $50,000 for $12. Hmm? And as I sign off, I want you to think back that your dollar was once worth that much. That you could purchase stuff that's $10,000 now, today, 2016 that in 1913 it could purchase that because the dollar was just that powerful. This company is being hunted and killed by very powerful people in the Wall Street Journal whom CBC, I'm sorry, CNBC is saying is not a rag, is printing probably some very bad stories about the company on purpose. Thank you for watching the Shikamba Live Show.